In this Wrestle Talk news, the NWA labelled a toxic brand. The real reason for the botch on SmackDown, what's going on with Charlotte Flair, and more. Subscribe and enable notifications to always on for daily wrestling news and review videos. Oh, it's the truth! Where's the live? Support Wrestle Talk! We begin with the most shocking news from the weekend. The unthinkable, the undoable might have just happened. Sammy Guevara turned face. Because pro wrestling in 2022 has spent most of the year off its face. Same former AEW star Bobby Fish made his boxing debut on a show headlined by Floyd Mayweather with Sammy Guevara doing the occasional announcing is a relatively normal sentence. Fish won his pro debut match against Boatang Prempa in the second round via TKO. Which is very impressive for having your first ever pro fight at the age of 46. But the best part of his victory came in Sammy Guevara's reaction. Where's the live? Sammy's in-depth analysis here was likely a deep cut of him making fun of fish. I'm now going to do what all the best jokes require. Explain it for the next 45 seconds. Bobby Fish left AEW at the end of August when his contract expired. He initially said it was because both sides couldn't come to terms on money, but then started trashing the company and its then top star CM Punk on social media, which probably got him a little bit of heat. His next move was to show up at Impact Wrestling, where he cut a promo that got so little reaction, even Cole Carter's there going, oof. That's rough. And I mean, <laughs> folks, where's the lie? You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Ah! It's a very niche reference that Sammy used immediately following Bobby's pro boxing debut victory to subtly bury him. His kid's all right. But Bobby Fish isn't the only person with wrestling hate. Nick Aldis and the NWA are currently having a very public breakup. The weekend also saw the NWA pay-per-view Hard Times 3, where Tyrus, aka the Fungosaurus Brodus Clay, beat Trevor Murdoch and Matt Cardona to become the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. But sadly, most of the attention was yet again taken by the promotion's suspended top star, Nick Aldis. Aldis's relationship with the NWA has been publicly deteriorating since since July. NWA owner Billy Corgan said he was tired with Aldis's backstage politicking and subsequently pulled him from a world championship match on pay-per-view in August, even though Aldis had won a number one contenders tournament. Then last week, in the build-up to NWA's Hard Times 3 show, Nick accidentally posted a subscribers-only message publicly on Instagram, where he called the NWA so embarrassing he couldn't be part of it any longer. He was thereby giving his 60 days notice to leave the company. The NWA subsequently pulled Aldis from that pay-per-view and suspended him as his contract expires on December 31st. But rather than quietly accept his departure, he's buried the promotion again immediately following Tyrus's championship win. Thanks for your support on Patreon, WrestleTalk's personal ring announcer Rodrigo Benitez and Ronald Coleman, baby! In another message to his Instagram subscribers, Aldis said, I hope now you see why it was important to me to let you know that I had given my notice to the NWA before this pay-per-view. What was once a promising endeavor that I turned down bigger opportunities to take the lead on has become the most toxic brand in pro wrestling. Thank you all for the support. If it wasn't obvious, PW Insider has confirmed with NWA COO Joe Galley that this isn't a storyline and Aldis really is suspended from the promotion. Appearing on Sam Roberts' Not Sam podcast over the weekend, Aldis went into more depth about why he's leaving the NWA, which can mainly be summarized as the classic creative differences, saying the promotion moved away from what I had wanted it to be. And what he wanted it to be was probably Nick Aldis having the championship all the time. At its most successful in the last five years, the NWA defined itself in a cluttered wrestling landscape as a nostalgic throwback to the era of 80s studio set wrestling shows. It was almost universally praised, but the rise of AEW as the main alternative to WWE and the pandemic hampered this growth. Aldis was disappointed that NWA had diluted itself from its southern wrestling product into yet another indie brand with high spots and sports entertainment. In what might be a calculated ploy, Aldis said the inspiration for him leaving the NWA just so happened to be the guy to please right now 
Triple H. Aldis compared how he felt about the NWA to a Triple H interview when he was sad about NXT's 2.0 direction under Vince McMahon. No doubt trying to get on WWE's radar for when he's a full free agent at the start of 2023. Unfortunately, the way he's gone about it hasn't shown Aldis in the best light, as NWA president Billy Gorgon has told Busted Open Radio. I think he's gonna have a tough time. Not as a wrestling talent, but the way he's dealing with this publicly. I can't imagine any company is looking at this and saying it's a good way to do business. He was tied to me for five years. We did business together for five years. I paid him a lot of money. Take your money, shake your hands, and go. Why the big ruckus? Corgan then blamed Aldis's behavior to insecurity and said he was warned about his attitude issues before they started to work together. He went on to say how he was very disappointed that Aldis had essentially buried the locker room on the week of the show, and he believes it to be yet another political play. Is what Nick's doing right now strictly about business? Not at all. That's so obvious to me. Nick's a talented professional wrestler. He's working the crowd. He's working the marks. He's working the dirt sheets. Have at it. When this dust settles, and it will eventually settle, we will get to see if Nick Aldis is as good as he thinks he is. Where's the live? Friday's episode of SmackDown saw Shotzi Blackheart become the new number one contender to Ronda Rousey's Women's Championship, but most people ended up talking about the new biggest star in WWE's women's division. The table! It is the table! During the six-pack challenge, Raquel Gonzalez had Sonya Deville set up on the steel steps with a table behind them, when Liv Morgan dove off the barricade, fell a little bit short, and kinda just collapsed in a heap on the floor. The crowd did not get their tables as they so crave, and instead let out an audible groan at the botched spot. But according to Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, this wasn't actually Liv's fault. It was the agent producers backstage. Apparently, there was a miscommunication where the move got changed at the last second, and not everyone in the match was aware of it. It was so last minute, in fact, that it was changed as the women were making their way to the ring. And maybe Liv didn't hear about the changes so that was the result. Originally, it was a different spot, which meant Liv wasn't supposed to leap as far as the table. Shotzi is most likely a filler feud for Ronda, because surely Rouse's title reign is really leading to WWE's favorite piece of booking. Here's Charlotte Flair. Flair hasn't been seen since WrestleMania Backlash back in May, where Rousey broke her arm during an I Quit match. This was really to give Charlotte time off over the summer to marry former WWE star Andrade, and presumably plot all the ways he can get fired from AEW. Charlotte was meant to make her first public appearance for WWE since then at one of their partner companies, Fitterman Sports, on Saturday. But she pulled out of the show on Twitter, reminding fans that they can go see her hubby Andrade instead. The sudden cancellation had fans speculating as to whether there's something else keeping Charlotte from returning to WWE, which her father Rick and brother-in-law Conrad had denied on his podcast. Conrad said, You and I know that physically she's fine. Emotionally, she's fine. It's her business to share. But I guess what I wanted to sort of set the record straight on is there's nothing wrong with Charlotte Flair. She's just fine. Andrade had mentioned that Charlotte had some personal stuff that she was working on recently. Also, Andrade made his first public appearance since his backstage altercation with Sammy Guevara, where he was subsequently sent home by AEW. Were you surprised by Austin Theory's Money in the Bank cash and fail? So was one WWE star. Watch on to find out more. So here are 10 news stories from this week that you might have missed. Number one, WWE star criticizes Austin Theory cash-in. I think it's safe to say we all expected a bit better for Austin Theory's eventual Money in the Bank cash-in. Reports circulated a few weeks back that WWE was planning something different for Theory's cash-in, with initial speculation indicating that Theory could win.